Hi everyone, this is Brian with Anderson Pens, and today I want to take a look at the Kaweco Dia 2. Let's take a look. Okay, so here I have the Kaweco Dia 2, and I have two different versions here. I have black with gold trim and black with a uh, uh, rhodium or nickel trim. Otherwise, they're exactly the same. Uh, this is a really interesting pen. I like this a lot. Uh, it's a full-size pen. Most people are used to either the Quaco Sport, All Sport, or even the Lilliput, um, and they're familiar with uh, Quaco making a small pen, but this is a full-size pen. So if you like Quaco, this could be an option for you. It's very classy looking, uh, very German, uh, we've got two cap bands, very nicely done. We have this beautiful clip, which is kind of uh, probably where they took some of their design for the deluxe clip from, that you can get the uh, deluxe clip for the, the Sport or the All Sport. Um, nice Quaco logo. And then we have some ribbing here at the top of the cap. And you notice that the, the nice arch in the clip there and it's a tight clip but um, it turns up a little bit here at the end so it should be too much of a problem this might be a two pen a two hand um, job to get it into your pocket um, we've got some ribbing at the top of the cap here on the back Cueco Dia Germany and we've got the classic logo adorning the top of the cap and interestingly with this pen we also have the same logo on the bottom of the cap uh, bottom of the barrel nice touch and uh, to match the ribbing on the cap we also have it here on the end of the barrel and a corresponding trim ring so very nicely laid out uh, very attractive pen open it up and we've got a matching trim ring here and one at the end of the section and there's your nib now this is a gold plated nib and of course Kueco uses Bach let's see this in the hand it's actually got a decent length to it in the hand but being a resin pen it's somewhat lightweight so if you put the cap on the back and you post it you've got a decent length Depending on where you typically hold your pen, if you hold it further down, this might be a little bit out of balance for you. But if you hold it here, it's got a nice, nice balance. Taking the cap off. Let's open this up. And it's a cartridge converter. Use the international, of course, and it does come with this, this spacer here that you can use. Um, nib units are threaded, so if you want to clean your pen, you just pull it out and clockwise and you're in business. Now it has a tight seal, a real tight seal to the barrel, so as you can see here I'm pushing on it and it's actually kicking back on me a little bit, so it's interesting. But nice tight, tight seal. Let's look at the, the silver trimmed version here. Pretty much the same thing if you like black with silver trim, like a lot of people do. You don't like the gold look. Got the silver Kaweco logo on the bottom. And we've got the silver trim and just the plain stainless steel nib and again same idea here cartridge converter and if you want you can just unscrew the, the nib to clean let's compare it to the pen everybody's probably familiar with this is the uh, Kaweco Sport this is actually the chess sport your logo there 
Same nib, so if you like the sport nib, you're gonna like this, the nib that's on here. A little bit longer. The sport's a little bit longer posted. Maybe a more comfortable length for some people. If we post the, the dia too, it's significantly longer, so. Kind of gives you an idea if you like how this is. If you're not a poster, that's the length we're dealing with here. And capped. There's a difference. Now, of course, the, the big advantage here is you can use an international converter in the Dia 2, where you cannot, can't really use a, there's not a great option. Uh, there are a couple of mini converters, including one that Kueco, a couple that Kueco make themselves, but they're not super great. Um, you can use a regular standard international converter on the other one, so. Nice pen, nice weight, um, reasonable price range, so uh, I think it's, I think it's an attractive looking pen and, uh, and definitely very German looking. So the Kaweco Dia 2. So there you have it, the Kaweco Dia 2. Be sure to check us out online at andersonpens.com, our store in Appleton, Wisconsin, or in any number of pen shows nationwide.